Right, we've learnt about cells in biology. Cells um, are common to all living things, but we can't really see them. They're too small to see with the naked eye. In order for us to see cells and to really see what's going on, we need to look at a piece of equipment called a microscope. A microscope is similar to a telescope. A telescope lets us look at stars in the sky and magnify them so they're much bigger. A microscope does a similar job in the, in the laboratory. It lets us have a look. We can look into a microscope and see actual cells, living cells, and explore them in more detail. So our first activity today is to be able to label a microscope and know what all the parts do. Um, here we have our microscope, which you will be using in the second part of this lesson, if you've not used it already. Um, we'll start off um, labelling all the different sections. At the bottom here we have the base. Um, this part here, the mirror, um, directs the light into the microscope so that we can view our specimen on the stage, which is this part here. Um, we also have a diaphragm underneath the microscope, which you can move around, but you shouldn't need to move that today. On top of the stage, we've got two stage clips, which you can use to hold your slide in position by pressing on the back. The next part of the microscope here are the objective lenses. You have low power and high power, um, and they swivel round here um, on the nose piece, which is this section here. You always start off using your microscope using the lowest objective lens, which will be the short one with a red um, line going around the base of it. The next section here is the arm section. Uh, then we have the body tube here and the eyepiece up here. There's two more parts to the microscope which you will be using today and that is the rough focusing knob and the smaller find focus knob. Once you've put your specimen onto the stage and clipped it into position, you swivel your objective lens round to the lowest magnification. You then make sure your microscope is as low as it possibly can go, making sure you don't go through your slide, and you focus by using the large focusing knob away from your specimen looking down the eyepiece as you do so, like this. When you think, when you, think you have your specimen in focus, you turn the fine focusing knob to get a sharp, crisp image. Okay, so a few safety features that I, I wish to point out to you before you use the microscope. Uh, first of all, if you're going to move your microscope, you have to hold the arm of the microscope and the base of the microscope with your other hand because sometimes these things can come apart and if they drop and they fall on your foot, you will hurt yourself. Secondly, when you're focusing, um, I've already mentioned you focus away from your specimen, not looking down the microscope towards the specimen in case the objective lens cracks through the slide, damaging both the microscope and the slide. So make sure you start on the low power. Um, if you are twizzling it round to look at it under high power, make sure you're only using the fine focus and you're again focusing away from your specimen.